what's up everybody uh happy monday um hope everybody had a great weekend i just need to clear up some few a few things before i get this video uh underway first of all friday's episode the i was just laughing reading all of the comments on monday be i mean um over the weekend because everybody was so pissed about what i said about dr Obrecht being fat and whatever whatever if you don't like what i said i don't care she's fat to me the bitch is fat that's why i said she needs slim fast oh well but i have something to tell all of you um matter of fact and i've been thinking about this actually for the last two weeks um but over the weekend it it kind of made my decision for me over the weekend as I look back and I watch some old GH episodes to now and it just made me I okay, let me just out with it. This week will be the final week of my videos um for the foreseeable future. I don't know about other soaps or if I'm gonna do other soap videos for other soaps. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But as far as my general hospital videos, that is currently being put on hiatus for the foreseeable future and i'm going to tell you why because just so nobody comments me and asks me why i'm going to tell you why now i looked at all the old episodes of general hospital to what they are currently and it is just so not the same for me general hospital is not fun for me anymore because you know, I lost a lot of interest in General Hospital this past year alone, you know, but I was sticking it out. I was watching. I'm probably going to continue to watch it, probably just not as frequently. Um, I, I just can't get behind Ron and Frank. I, I can't do it, you know, because it's so unrecognizable, this show. They got so many characters out of character. They they got too many corny new people, and it's just not I'm not a fan of it. Like, it's just I'm going to always be a fan of General Hospital, but this new regime, I'm just not feeling it. So I, I don't know. It's just too much. I mean, you know, I miss all of the quarter mains, you know, being on the show, Dylan, Alan, Monica, you know, just being up. I know Monica's still on the show, but I mean, just being up there on a regular basis, Emily, Jason, I, I just miss all of them, you know? And I miss Lorenzo Alcazar and the Zakaras, Claudia, especially. I just miss all of that. You know, it was so fun when they were all on the show. Now it's just something that's completely turned into something else that I don't recognize and I don't like it. It's like it's just a drag for me to it's a struggle for me to even watch this show anymore because of the lameness that's going on. Storylines are taking way too long years they're taking a whole damn year now to get one storyline done so that's my reason i hope all of you will understand this um but yeah this will be the final week um so let's make the final week count um so anyway let me get into this episode um so anna devane bumped into the fake ass fat ass anna devane aka obrecht and the, the cop, one of the guards that were at the prison, didn't know which one was the real Anna Devane. So he made both of them put their gun down. But Obrecht shot the guard. And her and Anna Devane got into it. So they were both beating up on each other. I love the fight scene between the two of them. Anna was getting in her ass. She knocked that big bitch out with a chop. And then... Faison came out there and Faison trying to calm her down, you know, he was all, you know, congratulating on her, congratulating her on her kick ass victory. So she demanded answers about Robin and he finally told her the truth that Robin is alive. But as soon as she was about to find out where Robin was and who else is involved, fat ass Obrecht get up and knock her out and her and Faison take off. Um, but I love that scene. Anna kudos to you you still got it for a 50 something year old woman you still could whoop some ass i'm gonna tell you that right now she oh she impressed the shit out of me but i'm already impressed with anna that's my girl um so anyway patrick was in his office and robin you know she was still in the lab and she was trying to 
figure out, a, you know, the phone call dropped. But as soon as it dropped, Rob Patrick heard her say her name and then the phone call dropped. So she was thinking about Maxie and stuff like that. And Robin was saying how Maxie taught her a trick about when your phone died, how to kind of recharge the battery a little bit to give you a couple seconds of uh, phone calls. So she was she took a towel. She, you know, was rubbing up against the towel and stuff like that. So she finally got the um, the battery to work. And. You know, because she could get at least a 30 second conversation out of it. So as soon as she put it in her phone, Jerry Jacks came in and snatched the phone because, you know, he got shot because Tracy shot him. Um, So he um, took the phone and told her to come up with another cure because somebody took the cure. And she said that the polonium 210, he's not going to survive it in time for her to come up with another cure because it took her a damn year to come up with that cure. So he told her to figure out something quick. And if she don't and he dies, she die. So same rules apply here. So I feel bad for Rob and hopefully she can hurry up and get the hell out of here. So anyway, Tracy pulled the gun out on Jerry and got him to give the whole cure to her so she can inject Luke with it. And... He wanted to get half the cure and give Luke the other half, but there wasn't enough. Um, so he tried to stop them or whatever. And Tracy shot him in the shoulder, but she was aiming for the leg. But she shot him in the shoulder. You know, Tracy aim is all kinds of crazy. But I'm glad Tracy mentioned to Jerry Jacks how much Jerry took from him. You know, the fact that her father's dead. Alan is dead basically because of Jerry. So she would have no problem killing him for what he did to her family members. So her and um, Luke get the hell out of the room and they lock Jerry Jackson inside of the room. But of course, he got out. So that was a kick ass scene. Tracy is deaf. Oh, I love her. She was just handling business today. Yo, I swear, like the way she just dealt with that with Luke. I love it. How she just was to the rescue. So anyway, Sabrina and Felix were talking. And she was telling him about, you know, the trip and stuff like that and about Patrick and Robin. And he was telling her that basically, you know, Robin traveled a lot and all the places pretty much are her places. First of all, all them places are not Robin's places. I understand where Felix was coming from, though, where he said that if, you, if they go anywhere like Paris and stuff like that, it's just going to remind Patrick of Robin. So. Port Charles reminds him of Robin. The house he lives in reminds him of Robin. He, he, you know, so it really don't matter. Go to Paris. But this is just another sign that they don't belong together. Like Sabrina just needs to move on. It's obvious that he's not over his wife, dead or alive. He ain't over the woman. So why don't you just cut your losses and be gone? So, um... Patrick comes out, he trying to hurry up and rush to the PCPD because of the phone call so they could trace that call and find out who called. And he was telling Sabrina that it was Robin on the phone, but Sabrina didn't believe him. She thought his mind was just playing tricks because it's Robin's birthday and they were talking about her. Sabrina, why would he make up a phone call when he told you that the person on the other line clearly said, this is me, Robin. That was her exact words. It's me. Sabrina sitting there talking about, oh, that could have been a friend or something. So if it was a friend, a friend is going to call his phone and say, it's me, Robin. I don't think so. And he heard it clear as day and it said, it's me, Robin. Like, in the way Patrick just broke down, like that shit was so fucked up to watch him break down like that. Because he got so much hope that Robin is going to come back to him. And in time, she will. But I hear that he won't see Robin, though, until November, probably the beginning of November is probably when he's going to see her. That's what I read. Um, so, Sabrina, just go sit down. Go back to Carlos because I'm over you. Um, so anyway. Um, Nicholas was with Britt and they were talking and she was telling him that Faison was her father and she felt ashamed. That's why she never told anybody. And I'm glad I'm happy for how Nick was so understanding. Like and he was very understanding, which I, I can see why he was understanding. Like he said, look at his family. The Cassadines aren't squeaky clean. Look at his father. Look at his grandmother. 
Come on now. He's ashamed of them too. So I'm glad that he was so understanding with her and stuff like that. And they hugged. And I'm just definitely looking forward to Nick and Britt. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Because once everything is out, they can finally be clear and be free to be together. So I'm happy for that. And Nicholas looked at that video again. And he noticed the painting in the background. And he's sure that old Brecht is on Cassidy Island. So thank God they finally figuring some shit out. Um, Finally. So today's episode was pretty good. Um, I liked it. Hopefully I'm not forgetting to talk about anybody. Um, I think I covered everybody today. Um, so anyway, I will see all of you tomorrow. Um, hope all you have a great day. See you all tomorrow.